Welcome back, folks, to Let's Replay XCOM UFO Defense. And when last we left off, I was making preparations to take care of this downed UFO with mutons, and I have changed my mind on what I'm going to do. Instead, I'm going to get Stefan into our craft because I'm going to try and take care of that base. The base full of sectoids has been there for long enough, and it is time to take care of it. We shall uh, remove Ben Saxon and put Stefan in the squad and get ready to take care of that base. This is going to be a very tricky mission because it's a mission with mind control, but not just from the aliens, from us as well. Let us take care of this base. This is, as far as I know, the only definite chance we have at taking care of getting a commander, because we do not know the location of any other bases, and to get a commander in another way, we'd have to take care of another absolutely huge UFO, and I'd much rather not do that. Someone does not have... that's right, you do not have that! And we will give a few more people some weapons. Stefan may not currently have a heavy plasma, still giving him one just because it's better that way. Okay, we have quite a distance between uh, the two halves of the squad, that's not good. First step is to move you down here and see if we can- aha! That might very well be the way to where the commander is. And where is- Angel is right here. Good! Because we're going to be blasting a hole to gain access immediately. We don't need to worry about any sectoids or cyber disks when we can just uh, launch a missile and make an entrance way. We can just do this, down here, over to here, 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 and straight into the wall. Go! We have a way in, everybody! Let's make sure we use it. The sooner we get in to deal with that, uh, sectoid commander, the better off we'll be. Oh, the better off we'll be. This means that we won't have Sub-Zero in our attempts to, uh, deal with the, uh, sectoid commander, but hopefully we won't need Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero's probably going to have problems of his own. Let us, uh, get the various soldiers over here, ready to go. White Tower Wraith, Crumpet can go first, and see if there are any aliens around here. The answer is no. There's also that room there, and I'm always worried about that room, because that room tends to have at least one alien- Oh! Oh! That's a lot of gunfire. I'm very concerned about that. Right, White Tower Wraith, see if you can figure out where that came from. Probably a cyber disk or some other horrifying uh, combination of doom. Crumpet may be in some trouble, unless we throw a grenade at Crumpet. Not a explosive grenade, a, uh, a smoke grenade. We might not have the time, though. We might not have the time. Prime Grenade, we definitely do not have the time. That is very unfortunate. We can only hope that whoever fired at, uh, Crumpet is a terrible shot. That's not likely. It's really not likely. Okay, you go over here. We're just going to go straight for the commander. I'm anticipating we're going to lose at least a couple of people. There is one way that I could distract whoever is firing over there, and that is to, uh, move the tank over to here. Maybe the tank can, uh, provide a big enough target that they may reconsider. It's not likely, but it's worth a go. Right, Alex Denton, go over there. Chances are these psionic attacks are going to begin immediately. Here to movement. No, oh! They're not very accurate shots. There's probably going to be... No! No mind control yet! Crumpet is fine! Okay, this is encouraging. This is very encouraging. Everybody, get ready your stun rods, for we're going in. And by going in, I mean we're gonna go get ourselves a commander. Let's go! Look over there. Nope! 
Nobody? Good. Look over here. Anybody? Nope. Good. Gotta be careful, though. Even though we're going this way, we've still gotta be careful. This is when we find the commander, just sort of standing here, and then Dawn's in serious trouble. Chances are no, though. Not likely. Okay, you're going to go over there, civilian. And you're going to go... over here. We want to deal with the sectoid that we found. You really didn't need to open that door, but okay, that's fine. Let's see if we can find whoever is shooting a crumpet. Is it a cyberdisc? Okay, who is shooting a crumpet? It's a sectoid. Now, what we can do is we can try and use the mind control attempts. It costs 25 turn units, and we can try right here. Didn't work. Didn't work. Worth a go, though. Okay, time to just shoot you, eh? Not likely to miss. Goodbye. No attempts at trying to shoot Crumpet today, thank you. Now, did an alien appear over here? Chances are moderately high, but it didn't happen. Gonna have you move over to here. This is likely a plan that's not going to work. It's very reminiscent of the, uh, just attempts to zerg rush the, uh, command center to go and get a commander. Chances are it's going to fail really badly, but I do need to try. I really do need to try. I'm going to have you move over to here, because- oh, hello! Because there's a chance that there might be a sectoid just waiting. Like you! You're gone now, though. And that's good. But you're now standing in the middle of some smoke, and that's not great. Then again, if you get mind controlled and you're in the middle of the smoke, that's pretty good. So, end turn. Ooh, a shot right from there. And there! I'm amazed you're not dead. I'm also amazed there are. Oh, there they go! Okay, you're still not dead! Wow, shopkeeper has panicked. That's fine, though. How are you doing? You are entirely untouched! Never mind the fact that I was shot several times! Go defeat the sectoids! We'll certainly try! We need to find that alien that was taking shots from over here. Now, where is that alien? We can see that alien right there. Go for it! No line of fire. Right. Uh, line of fire over here? Yes? No. Okay, so you can't actually shoot. From here, anyway. But... We could try and mind control you. Didn't work. Probably won't ever work. Really should be going for the panic option instead. Sub-Zero... You're currently holding onto that. Drop that right now. Go over here. Now, can you take a shot? Yes. Much better. Ah, <laughs> much better. Go over here. Now, we're not doing badly at all. White Tower Wraith tanking all those shots, really good, really beneficial. Ah, don't know who you are. You are likely not the commander, but you could be. That gun does not look big enough, though. That gun does not look big enough at all. Do I want to shoot you? Do I want to risk you being the commander? Hmm. Do I want to risk it? You're going to inevitably shoot anyway if I move closer. Ah, there are two of them. Well, you don't seem that bothered about the fact that I've moved closer. However, you also don't seem bothered about the fact that I'm stunning you. You're gone now, though. Right, uh, you being there is a problem, though. You being right there is a huge problem. Mainly because, uh, you're going to try and shoot me. But if I try and shoot you... Nice shot! 20% accuracy? I approve of those percentages working in my favor. You have no turn units left. And fortunately, you're a long distance away from anybody that can, uh, get shot at. That said, you could go and shoot Angel. With that in mind, with that in mind, 
I'm going to provide a bit of cover for myself. Just a bit. Angel doesn't need to see. Shopkeeper does. Anybody else need to move? Crumpet could move. I don't think Crumpet moving right now is a good idea, but then again, Crumpet could go over here. There we go. You're just fine. You do not care about any of the uh, shots that were aimed at you. Let's move you back over to here, Hover Tank. Hopefully we can deal with the commander, if we can find the commander. This is when there's just a blaster bomb explosion. Loads of hidden movement, loads of doors opening. Oh! I think I know who you are. Hello. How are you? Stun. Are you who I think you are? Sectoid leader. Not quite what I was hoping for. Not quite. Are you the commander? You're the navigator. Okay. That's not so bad. Let's leave everyone here for now. We're getting close. Okay, we have Shopkeeper back now. I, I'm still very concerned about having Shopkeeper do pretty much anything, because we have uh, conclusively proved that Shopkeeper not the best at dealing with anything psionic related, because look at that size strength. Pretty poor. 21. Would not put in front of an ethereal and expect to not crack. It's like 4 out of 10 would not recommend. It can be worse than that. It could have been 10 base. So in all the times that Shopkeeper has been mind controlled, Shopkeeper has only gained one point of uh, psionic strength. Oh. Hello. Are you who I think you are? You're also a leader. Unfortunate, but we've took care of two leaders. Which means the psionic attacks are going to be that much less intensive. It, just watch, there's going to be a blaster bomb launched, and it will probably kill the sectoid commander as well. It'll happen. Hit a movement. That was a stun bomb, wasn't it? Pretty sure that was a stun bomb. Yeah, no massive explosion, that was a stun bomb. Right. Okay, we want somebody with not many uh, turn units to open the door. Civilian. Open the door. We don't know where the alien is. Could send you to have a look. It's dangerous to send you to have a look. It's really, really dangerous. If we send you in there, you won't be able to do anything. So I'm actually thinking I might not want to, but then again, if we can see the commander, we definitely want to be able to see the commander. I'm going to take a risk here. Move you into there, move Sadwick over to here, and we're going to move, let's see, Alex Denton all the way over to there, and finally we are going to move you over to here. And I hope this isn't going to go horribly, horribly wrong. It is probably going to go horribly, horribly wrong. Meanwhile, we're going to get Sub-Zero to keep looking for that sectoid that fired upon him. Can't see the sectoid yet. Probably- ooh, there's one sectoid, armed with a small launcher. And we cannot shoot. We could move over here and shoot, but that is dangerous. But still, we took the chance, and the alien is not in fact dead. But we cannot move uh, Sub-Zero back into cover. I'm going to move the tank over to here just in case uh, there's another alien nearby. Like you. Hello, you. Can't shoot you. Can, however, take a shot. And then not shoot back. Okay, that's a little bit... Uh, worrisome, but we do have you. And if we cannot mind control, we can try and panic. Aha! Morale attack successful! Panicked. Excellent. Or at the very least, the morale has gone down. And that's what I want to see. Alright, you just stay there for now. And let's hope things don't go horribly wrong. Oh, there's a cyberdisc right there. Oh, shopkeeper, no! 
The tank is okay. Loads of shots there. Alex Denton has panicked. That is fine. Dawn has gone berserk. That is not fine. Please don't shoot. There we go. We have lost Shopkeeper. It was only a matter of time before Shopkeeper was eventually taken out by someone. There is the commander. Let us deal with the commander. One stun not sufficient. Two stuns? I'm pretty sure that's the commander. Which means no more psionic attacks. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a number of things right now. First, I'm going to drop this uh, weapon here. Or at the very least, put it down. And then I'm going to pick up this alien's weapons right here. I could actually pick up the uh, sectoid commander if I wanted to. Not going to right now. Can I put this uh, there? Good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that this commander cannot kill any of my soldiers. Unfortunately, we have lost Shopkeeper. But Shopkeeper was pretty much in trouble anyway. There's a cyberdisc somewhere around there, and that's not good. We've got an alien here, though, that we can take care of. Hopefully. I said hopefully. Please? That's not good. Alien is still active. Right, if I move Sub-Zero over to here, we can get a few shots off. No, we can't. Force fire! Okay, that is a huge piece of uh, scenery, and I thought it would blow up a lot uh, easier than it did. Okay, Angel is all the way uh, in this smoke. That's good and bad all at once, because uh, ideally I would like to not have uh, Angel in trouble with that Cyberdisc there. If we can find out where the Cyberdisc is, that works just fine. But at the moment, not so good. We could have you try a panic again. Didn't work this time. Ooh, that's probably the Cyberdisc. That's definitely the Cyberdisc. And if we can see the Cyberdisc, we've lost the tank, but if we can see the Cyberdisc, Dawn has gone berserk again. Shoot the wall, that's fine. And that's fine too. As long as you do not shoot any of the soldiers. Right, civilian, you're going to go over here. You're going to want to equip this, there's no reason for you to have that uh, equipped anymore. And you're going to go out. Next turn. I want you to stand over here so that there is no chance that you're going to be able to uh, do anything concerning picking up a weapon. And more importantly, Sadwick is not going to immediately pick up a weapon and kill the uh, Sectoid Commander with reaction fire. That is what I'm most worried about. Don't want that to happen. Right, there is a Sectoid here. I can deal with the Sectoid just fine. Problem is I can't find the uh, Cyberdisc. Where is the Cyberdisc? Cyberdisc is there. Right. Go behind some cover because we are going to employ some blaster bomb shenanigans right now. Okay, launch missile. There, down, here, there, 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 and there? Go for it. Well, that didn't do what I wanted it to. But it did something, because there was a Cyberdisc right there. Mission successful, I guess? It worked? Still concerned about that, though. End turn. Cyberdisc is moving. Do not like that. Do not like that at all. Fortunately, Sub-Zero is good at taking out Cyberdiscs. Please don't make me regret saying that, Sub-Zero. There we go. Good. There's another alien somewhere around here. And as long as you're standing there, we should be okay when it comes to uh, that commander. We want to make sure that commander is not going to die. We can knock the commander out over and over again, and that is fine. 
And we don't have a tank anymore to take care of the uh, straggler, um, straggler aliens, which is a problem. I'd have much preferred to have a tank, but I will swap a tank for a completed mission. I didn't want to swap shopkeeper for a completed mission, but that is what happened. Probably should have moved shopkeeper, but where could shopkeeper have gone when there were two cyber disks? That cyber disk was probably uh, in this area at some point. Enter. Nothing's happened. You are still unconscious. Good. I don't think you're going to stay unconscious, though. We need to go and search for these final aliens. I imagine their morale not especially high right now, considering that uh, all the leaders have been taken out and the, um, the commander is unconscious. I don't think the morale penalty hits until the um, commander is actually dead, though. Sub-Zero, over here you go. We need to find those final few aliens. And the sooner we find them, the sooner the mission will be completed, and the sooner... Hello. How are you? You're going to be, uh, dead in a moment. Are you a new alien? No, you're an alien that I think was knocked out before... Oh. Hello. Well, we know where that is now. So, uh, we still have a blaster bomb. Don't we? How many do we have? Two more! Good! Launch missile. Over here. Down. To here. Here. And then over here. Seems good. It missed. But you know what? It still worked! I'm surprised it still worked. We've also revealed the location of this sectoid by doing that. Sometimes misses are happy coincidences that work in your favour. Like that. That was not the last alien, but then again I wasn't expecting it to be the last alien either. Still, that works in our favour, most certainly. Oh, that is, uh, very fortunate. Okay, you still have quite a few actions left, but I'm going to wait. Still haven't seen the next alien. Also, you're still unconscious. Good! Stay unconscious, please. Stay unconscious forever. That sounds like a good idea. Civilian? Going to need some light over there. As soon as you can throw it. It's not great light, but it's better than no light. Okay, going in there is probably a poor idea. We want to explore over here, primarily. White Tower Wraith? Go over there. This is when White Tower Wraith gets shot, because there's an alien right over here. There is an alien that likes to hang around in this area, and typically ends up getting panicked and drops whatever weapon they had. Can't see any aliens over here. This is when there is an alien over here, and I'm in serious trouble for uh, putting Sub-Zero over there. Let's move you over to here for now. It's where there is a door, so it's not likely to be over here. It's likely to be over here, or over here. Still nothing. Okay, go round here, and you see the alien. There is a door there. There's a door there, and we're going to have you move over to here. Very quickly look down here. Don't want to be surprised by a uh, sectoid or a cyber disk just walking around, or floating around, with the uh, cyberdisc, uh, waiting for a target. This has been a bit of a messy mission, to say the least, but it has been, so far, a phenomenally successful one. Unless that commander wakes up. Did not wake up. Good. Let's go over here. See if we can find one sectoid. Not over here, we can't. Well, this is not encouraging at all. Crumpet, go over here. Where are the other doors? Unless there's an alien constantly opening up this door over here, I've seen stranger things happen when it comes to the alien's AI. Sometimes they just like opening a door and then shutting a door, and it's something they just do. It's not over here, is it? 
No, the door's not opening over there. Really don't want to go over here. Gonna have you stay over here, Sub-Zero. We're gonna find out if it's this door at least now. No. If it is this door, the alien decided not to open it this time. Oh, it is this area! Hello! I'm gonna shoot you. Please be the end of the mission. It's not the end of the mission. It's not. Have you woken up? You have not woken up. There is one more alien somewhere around here, and I don't know where they are. Oh, great. Let's go to an area we haven't been to yet, which is over here. Pick this up. Throw it again. Not over there. Hmm. Maybe the alien is over there, but I get the feeling that's not the case. Get the feeling the alien is somewhere I haven't explored yet. Not over here. I've explored here quite a bit. There's a lot of smoke over here to prove it. No aliens over here that I can see. I'm half expecting to lose one more soldier, just get shot randomly, and then the soldier is gone. Don't think there are any aliens over here. So you need to go back, and we need to explore over there. In this little area. Unless the final alien is hanging around over here somewhere. No. We could go in there, and have a look. It's... a big risk. It's a huge risk, unless you go in there, but even then it's a huge risk, because we don't have many turn units. There's one more alien somewhere around here. I have no idea where. And we're going to go have a look, and find this final alien. It's always the base missions, which take forever, by the way. It's always the base missions where you're looking for that final straggler. And in this instance, I really want to find this final straggler, because there's a commander in this for me. The alien I need to complete the game. Go over here, Sub-Zero. No aliens over here at all. I'm really nervous now. Nothing. Aha! Is it you? Is it you? Yes! Yes, it is you! 952 points! One... No, three live aliens recovered! One operative killed, one tank destroyed. Minus 80 for Shopkeeper. Rating excellent. Stats! People gained quite a lot of stuff. Angel gained plus one accuracy. Look at all of these here! Stefan gained some psionic skill! Three points! We need to sell things. We need to sell a lot of things right now. Actually, not as much as I thought we'd need to sell, but let's get rid of, uh... Also, that there. That is wonderful. That there is wonderful. The sectoid commander. Right there. You don't know how happy I am to see that there is a sectoid commander ready to be interrogated. That means that we can do so much stuff. I'm going to cancel the uh, mind probe research, or rather reduce it to zero, and then I'm going to immediately go and start interrogating that uh, commander. But the price I paid for that was high. It was very high. How high? Well, we're down one of our better soldiers. One of our much better soldiers. Also, I'm really struggling to, uh, ah yes, the alien entertainment, of course. Get rid of all of that. There we go. We, uh, don't have enough to re-equip all of this. Stefan has made sergeant. White Tower Wraith has made captain. Shopkeeper is down. 44 missions. A lot of missions. Go to the memorial here. Shopkeeper. No, 58 missions, sorry. 45 kills. Shopkeeper's one of the, uh, highest ranking casualties, along with Awesome Possum. The price was very high. Very high indeed. But, we can reduce this to zero. And we can then start interrogating a sectoid commander. 30 people. In fact, We'll reduce this to zero as well. And this to zero too. Because we actually want 60 people 
on the Sectoid Commander. And when we come back, folks, finally that base is gone, finally we have a commander, but unfortunately, we lost a soldier. We lost Shopkeeper. But I'm very sad that Shopkeeper is gone. Also, we now need to uh, make another tank. But that's fine, we can build another tank. We can't replace Shopkeeper. But we can avenge Shopkeeper by saving the world from the alien threat. And so when we come back, folks, interrogating the Sectoid Commander, building the Avenger, and hopefully striking back at the heart of the alien stronghold. And I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.